welcome back to my channel so to start off this look I'm taking my modern Renaissance palette this is actually the only palette that I'm using for my eyeshadow today so to start off this look I'm gonna take the shades burnt orange and raw sienna I'm actually gonna mix these two shades together I'm gonna take those on a fluffy brush and this is gonna be our transition shade so I'm gonna do this really messily you can go ahead and put it in the crease a little bit above the crease this is just the color that's gonna make sure all the other eyeshadows blend well and I kind of I did my brush in there maybe four or five times before I got the actual color that I wanted in my crease. So basically, I just want to let you guys know to not worry about this shade too much. Um, just have fun with it because it's really not going to show. And then I'm going to take the shade Red Ochre. And this shade, I'm taking on the same fluffy brush, but this one you want to be more precise with. I left this one just in the crease. I also put it a little bit on the lid to kind of like have the lid with some color before we apply our lid color. Um, you don't want to take this one too high because it is a deeper color and you want to make sure that you have like that dark to light kind of fade on the lid. And then I'm going to take the shade Love Letter. This is actually the shade that's going to be on our lid and I'm going to go ahead and apply that all over the lid. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Venetian Red. And with this color, I'm taking it on a more precise blending brush and I'm putting it into my crease. And I'm only doing this because I want to blend Love Letter with the crease. So I needed that nice color that's like right in between. So that's what I use that for. And then I'm going back again with Love Letter and reapplying it on the lid because you're going to notice while doing this eye look that it fades away quickly. So you have to keep reapplying it. And then I'm taking that blending brush again and making sure that everything looks nice and blended. Then I'm going in with the shade Cypress Umber. I hope I said that right. <laughs> and I'm putting this on the outer corner, kind of like an outer V. And I'm going ahead and patting it on first to get nice intensity. And then I'm going to blend it into the crease. I'm not blending it all the way to the inner corner, but I'm blending it at least halfway. This is going to give the eyes some nice depth. Then I'm going to take my blending brush again with no additional product and just blend everything, make sure everything looks nice. And then again, I'm putting Love Letter all over my lid to intensify it. Then for my brow bone highlight, I'm taking the shade Tempura and I'm going to apply that, but then I'm going over with that fluffy brush. Then I'm taking, you can take any mascara, um, whichever one's your favorite. I believe this is the Hypnos Drama. It really doesn't matter because I'm going to apply falsies anyway. This is just to prep them. And then I'm going to fast forward my face and then we'll be right back to finish up the eyes. Alright, so let's finish up these eyes. So here's what your eyes should look like so far. It was super easy. It looks complicated, but it's not. So for the lower lash line, I'm basically doing the same thing I did on the top. 
The first shade I'm going in with there is Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange and then I'm going in with the shade Red Ochre. You just want to blend, blend, blend. This is kind of our smoky look. And there, I just put eyeshadow in my eye. So like this video if you're like me and every time you blend on your lower lash line, you get shadow in your eye. For my inner corner highlight, I'm taking the shade Primavera. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you decide to recreate this look, tag me on Instagram. It'll be below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.